I want our team to be consistently resilient. And I think for fans, you know, they're going to be sitting up there and, and when the, they see those moments in the football game, they get tough, that they're going to see our team respond really well. Um, but I want our team to not always have to get into that adverse moment to face that. And so hopefully they you know, start the game that way and they continue it and can just be really resilient to the, the ebb and flow of the game. And the, as we go through the season, there's lots of ups and downs. And uh, hopefully they can just stay resilient to that. And that's something I think our team's really known for. We'd want to be in a Ford F-150 jacked up pickup truck, um, kind of like the one that I drive. We want something tough that's dependable, that you know is going to be there, um, is going to be able to do the work that you're going to ask it to do, and uh, still looks good. So we want to be a little bit of that too, because if you look good, you play good. For us, I think it's really about chemistry. You know, we had uh, some coaching turnover and some, some really talented record-setting players who have graduated in the past season. So hopefully the chemistry will come quick. And if it does that, we start playing for one another and have a unmitigated trust in one another, I think that we'll have a, a great season. Yeah, we'll be different. I, I think that's going to be one of the most important things is with the, the influx of new talent that we have, um, as well as our new coaches on that side of the ball. I think we're going to be a little bit different than what people have seen in the past. I think it should lead to um, a really exciting brand of football on the offensive side. I think you're going to see a, a quarterback who's been waiting his turn uh, in the wings a little bit, and Billy Degden, who's going to do some some great things for us, and then the, the running backs that we have coming in um, and, and returning to the program really have a chance to continue that you know all-conference level running back performance. I think our offense is going to score a lot of points, and uh, for as a guy who's got a defensive focus and as a head coach, I, I get really excited about that every day. Our defense has uh, the potential to be one of the best we've had here, um, bringing back multiple all-conference players in the front seven. Uh, a guy like Jordan McInerney, who was knocking on the door of uh, school record and tackles for a loss last year, having 23 of those. I think we've got a lot of good leadership on that side of the ball as well. There's some veterans who have really put in a lot of work to make our program uh, what it is, and, and they want to go out with a bang this year. And so I think our defense is going to be a really aggressive, fast-paced defense, and I think it should be really good for us. Well, it's it's easy to say Billy Degnan because he has a quarterback. He's going to, you know, be coming from a, a backup position to the starting position. So I, I think he's naturally going to have um, an increased role, but I, I think the guy who's really going to surprise people is uh, is Dom Johnson, who's our outside linebacker. I think that as a freshman last year, he started to get on the field as the season went on, and some of the things that he demonstrated on the field really um, were exceptional. They were really special. I, I think his off-season effort that he put in the weight room and uh, training over the summer, I think he's going to be a really special player for us this year. To embrace our one and no mentality, that every every day, every week is new, and what we did yesterday has no real impact on today's effort and today's success. We, we've really got to make sure that that gets back to the forefront of our mind and uh, that we spend a lot of time focused on that as coaches and, and the players. And so if, if we reach that goal, we go one and no every single day and then go one and no every week. Um, I think that that allows us to be in the right mindset and that makes it a very easy team to coach. Well, it's really tough because you're losing talented coaches. You know, Coach Sankson to go be the head coach at Beloit and uh, Coach Schaefer left to go be an offensive coordinator at a scholarship school. So we lost really talented coaches. So that, that's a challenge in its own right. I think where we've been really lucky is we've replaced them with really talented coaches. We were, we were kind of a desired position. I think the challenge is us getting on the shorthand and being able to understand one another um, so that we can be more efficient in our communication. Um, and that comes with that chemistry and camaraderie we're talking about. Hard work, a good program, and the support of our administration to go find players all across the country. I, I think that when you look at our roster, and you see that we have 30 plus guys from Arizona, you see guys from California, Texas, and Florida, uh, we can't do that without the support of our administration. Then I also think that as a coaching staff, we do a great job identifying fit. We don't try to recruit the masses. We really try to find the guys that fit Lake Forest College, both talent-wise, academically. And as long as we keep continuing to, to find the right fit, then they see the value that Lake Forest College can provide them both while they're here for four years and beyond. I think that's a natural thing to make our recruiting classes get bigger. You know, this year, I think we kind of we got out early and we had a bunch of guys that you know kind of picked us early. And so I think that that kind of got us a little bit of momentum and that gets the coaches juices flowing to want to get a few more guys. So I just think we had a really good year and we're excited about it. Um, getting those guys here on August 12th.